Hello and welcome to the IT Career Guide. Um, my name is Christoph and in today's video I want to talk about what do software engineers in Silicon Valley actually make as a salary and the numbers that I have are for the year 2020. So what are programmers, software developers, software engineers in Silicon Valley making as their salaries? So first of all I'm concentrating on Silicon Valley. That's uh, simply the place where you, if you want to be a software developer and software engineer, where you can make the most money. It's simple as that. I mean, New York City, Seattle, uh, Los Angeles um, are not too far behind. But overall, if you work for one of the top tech companies in Silicon Valley, um, well, these are the numbers and um, this is what you can make there. So um, software engineers in general can easily pull in a six figure salary, but how much really um, are they making? I mean, six figures could be 100,000, it could be 200,000, it could be 300,000. So where do software engineers um, end up with their salaries? So I'm going through the different uh, levels. So entry level, mid-level, senior level, and then um, like staff engineer or uh, team leads are what they can earn. So I'm looking at the companies like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Netflix, Amazon. So it's the so-called FANG companies and um, they are located in Silicon Valley, of course. Amazon has a headquarters up in Seattle and they're building another one um, out east. So, but of course they also have an office in Silicon Valley. So these are simply the companies that are paying the highest salaries in the valley. So um, before we go into dollar specifics, I'm gonna go and talk about the levels. I mentioned already before entry level, mid-level, senior level, but uh, these companies use a number system. So it goes usually from pay level two to pay level nine. It might vary based on which company, but overall that's the range that you're looking at. Also be aware the majority of people will end up in the four to five, four to five range. So somewhere in the mid-level, senior level range. And um, from there, there's only a few that really make it past the seven. And also as well, if you go past the level five, it's usually more like a team lead or architectural type of position. So software architect, um, you're responsible for some high level projects. Um, so it's, it's really like you're, you're the top gun in a certain way once you go past the level five. So um, let's start with level two and three. So level two are usually just the interns. Um, they come and stay for two to three months, usually during summer, and um, they are actually being paid pretty well for their internship. So an intern um, can, based on the annual salary, um, make about 80, 90 K per year. So if you have a longer term internship, that's roughly the salary that you're looking at. Level threes are usually entry level software engineers. So their base salaries varies, but it goes from 100 to 120 K base salary per year. Then these positions usually come with a performance bonus that com can be 10 to 15%. So that brings you from a 100K position to let's say 110 or 115 per year from a 120,000 base salary, um, a little into the 130 range. But that's your base salary. So it's not tied to any stock grants or uh, stock options. So next we want to talk about um, what is the additional pay that these individuals make because they're not just getting a base salary or a bonus. So for one, if you are new and you're moving into that area, um, it should be fairly easy to get a signing bonus um, or if the market is really uh, that demanding, um, the companies might offer you a signing bonus and they go usually between 25K and 50K. So that's a one-time payment in the very first year. Um, usually you get that payment after the first 90 days completed on the job. And then um, these individuals on level two and three, they usually get uh, stock grants. Um, it's usually vested over four years. So if you get 150K in stock grants, um, then every year um, you get one fourth um, of that stock grant. So it vests over four years. But each year that you complete, when it comes to the appropriate um, annual merit review, performance review, salary review, usually you get additional stock grants. So every year you get another package and again that package vests over four years. So again you get 25% of that. Um, so that's really where your salary comes from. And so if you stay for four years, 
um, you're getting quite some um, stock grants on top of your base salary. So let's talk about the level four. Level four is usually like a mid-level, it's a solid individual contributor. And um, those are software engineers with two to three years of experience. So, but um, the mid-level range is really where about 60-70% of all software developers end up with these um, FANG companies. So um, it's surprising. I would expect more senior level, but so if you go into a senior level, um, there is simply more demand on you. You have to deliver more, you're responsible for more. And that is not simply um, f for everyone. So not everyone really wants to be on that level. Uh, many people are comfortable with um, that mid-level salary. And um, so let's talk about that. So the expected base salary is 150 to 160K for, per year, um, again with a 15% performance bonus. However, your stock grants pretty much now double from the entry level. So it's a very common to get a $300,000 stock grant. Again, it vests over four years. So every year you get $75,000 of that $300,000 um, stock grant package. And again, every year when you go through the annual performance review and salary increases, you get additional um, stock options, stock grants. And again, these are vesting over four years. So there's really, um, I want to say, a big incentive to make it to mid-level and um, to reach that um, stock grant level because that's really where the money comes from. Your base salary um, for Silicon Valley, 150, 160K, it sounds great, but you're in California, you're paying a lot of taxes, cost of living is very high in Silicon Valley, so um, that is a challenge. So um, even with, with these type of salaries, people have to look at what are they spending per month and how much are they spending. So the next level is level five, senior level software engineer. And um, in Google, I heard, so uh, they refer to this as the terminal level. Um, most people will not make it past that level at all. And um, often this is the level also where people leave Google. So it's like, it might be your dream to work at Google, but um, once you look around, um, the average tenure is uh, usually less than four years. So people go to other startup companies and um, they're chasing the money potentially, or they start their own companies. Or in those four years, they make enough money that they go somewhere else into a less stressful job. So base salary for these individuals uh, usually starts in the 180 to 190K range. Um, you get a 20% performance bonus and um, the stock grants go up to 500,000. So again, this vests over four years, 125,000 vesting per year. Of course, you pay taxes on that, um, but uh, you get the additional stock grants per year. And um, so it's, it's a very interesting place. So think about it, you stay for four, five, maybe six years. Um, and if you work good with your money, I mean, you walk away as a millionaire, there's no way around it. If you spend your money like crazy, of course, you won't end up as a millionaire, but um, that's what it is. Level six, um, that's uh, for most companies really where you are a staff software engineer. Um, you're really just that dedicated team lead. You're not a manager, um, but you're leading um, these more challenging projects. These are projects um, that really make an impact to the bottom line of a company. So this is not just making a few changes here and there. No, this is really something that shifts the needle. So these uh, employees make two hundred to two hundred twenty thousand dollars per year. Again, a twenty thousand, a twenty percent performance bonus. And now hold on, um, if you're if you're standing, maybe you want to sit down. Um, these individuals can make a one million dollar stock grant. Again, vesting over four years. But um, that's really where the big money is. So um, you need to stay with these companies probably three, four, five, six, seven, eight years to reach that point. Or you need to be one of those individuals that is just a gifted developer. So, and I uh, will talk about those as well. So level seven and eight, and you remembered, I said there's up to nine levels. So these are really the gifted software engineers, the coding gods in a certain way. Um, they have extremely great technical and communication skills. They do groundbreaking work. They move not just the needle, they move the company in a certain way with their knowledge, with their skills. They are able to make it happen. So base salary, 300,000 um, stock grants, about $1.5 million in stock grants, vesting 
um, over four years. And then um, really for all these positions, really it applies um, between five and 15% salary increases per year. Um, very often uh, it really goes towards the 15. The companies wanna retain the talent. If you're not good and you're getting just 5% or less, um, well, you should probably think about going somewhere else because apparently um, you're not delivering what is expected from you. I'm not talking about level nine. I do not have information for that, um, but you can think about if 300,000 is a salary for level seven and eight, um, you're probably looking at 400,000 and you're probably looking at two to two and a half million dollars in stock grants. So that's what it is. So all these positions uh, come with the typical benefits, so health insurance, life insurance, disability insurance, free food, sodas, coffee, and so on. Um, some companies offer on-site text consultation like Facebook. Um, Facebook also gives you TurboTax for free. I'm not sure if that's really <laughs> a significant value for the 69 or $99 that you would pay. Um, but um, yeah, that's what it is. You get your typical time off. However, these companies uh, potentially offer a sabbatical um, where after four, five, six years, uh, you can take up to three months off um, paid and uh, you can explore the world or whatever your goal is. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It will really help me. Um, please ask any questions in the comments. I really appreciate it. And I publish videos usually weekly. So um, there's a notification bell next to the um, subscribe button. Please click on that as well. And then I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.